Welcome to Risk Garage, where we explore different risk management techniques and strategies. Today, we will be discussing the risk breakdown structure and how it can aid in effectively managing risks in your projects. Before we delve into the risk breakdown structure, let's briefly touch upon a well-known concept in project control, the work breakdown structure, aka WBS. The WBS provides a means of structuring the work to be done in order to achieve project objectives. Each descending level represents a more detailed definition of the project work. The goal of the WBS is to present project work in a hierarchical, manageable, and definable format, serving as the foundation for project planning and accountability. Similarly, risk data can be structured and organized in a standard manner to facilitate risk understanding and communication. A risk breakdown structure, or RBS, is a hierarchical representation of the risks associated with a project. It breaks down these risks into smaller, more manageable categories. This makes it easier to identify and prioritize risks and develop effective risk response strategies. The examples of common RBS categories include technical risks, schedule risks, financial risks, and resource risks. Now, let's talk about the benefits of using a risk breakdown structure. Benefit number one, improved communication. A clear and consistent structure for identifying and discussing risks can enhance communication between project team members and stakeholders. Benefit number two, increased visibility. The risk breakdown structure provides a clear overview of a project's overall risk profile, making it easier to understand and manage these risks. Benefit number three, better decision making. By categorizing and prioritizing risks, the risk breakdown structure supports informed decision making when it comes to risk response strategies. Benefit number four, improved organizational efficiency. By breaking down risks into smaller categories, the risk breakdown structure enables more effective allocation of resources and prioritization of mitigation efforts. A risk breakdown structure can take different forms depending on the industry. There have been attempts to develop RBSs for different industries. Let me show you an example of RBS for software development, which was developed by Dorothy. Another example is an RBS for construction design risks, by Chapman. There have been efforts to create a generic RBS, which aims at producing a structured list of universal risk areas that might apply to any type of project in any sector, be it industrial, government or commercial activity. However, it is impossible to have a one-size-fits-all structure. Each project will have its own unique risk profile, so it's essential for organizations to use the generic structure as a guide and develop their own RBS. The application of the RBS may come with certain challenges. Challenge number one, time-consuming. Developing an RBS can be time-consuming, especially for complex projects with many potential sources of risk. Challenge number two, resource-intensive. Building an RBS requires dedicated resources, including skilled project managers and risk management experts. Challenge number three, risk of oversimplification. The RBS may oversimplify complex risks, making it challenging to fully understand the potential impact of these risks on the project. Challenge number four, risk of over-reliance. Project managers may become overly reliant on the RBS and ignore other important sources of risk not captured in the structure. Challenge number five, difficulty in updating. The RBS must be regularly updated to reflect changes in the project and new risks that may emerge which can be a difficult and time-consuming process. In conclusion, the risk breakdown structure is a valuable tool for project risk management, offering benefits such as improved organizational efficiency, better decision-making, increased visibility, and improved communication. However, it's important to be mindful of its potential limitations and challenges. If you'd like to learn more about risk management and other techniques, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.